So we get a lot of grubs in this spot in our backyard uh, during the winter and uh, springtime. And so we kind of always wondered if they were Japanese beetles because then we get a lot of Japanese beetles in the summertime. So we find their little kind of mud shells in the ground. Actually, if you find one of those, uh, let me put it on camera, but we find those shells and we've kind of always assumed they were Japanese beetles. So today we were digging for Japanese beetles since there's a lot, it's August and there's a lot in our backyard right now. And sure enough, we find all these little beetles that are catatonic, they're not moving. And if we take them and we put them out in the sun for about 30 seconds, they'll fly away. So we're gonna show you that. Okay, so we still haven't found a Japanese beetle yet, but we did just find one of their little mud cocoons, if you wanna call it that. Right here, I'm gonna have a little Truman pull that out of the ground. So this is what they look like. Oh. And they're just, a, I'll have them crumble it here in just a second. And usually they have like a little hole that's kind of, I must've dug into that a little bit, but it's usually kind of more uh, rounded out and with a little hole in it, if there's no beetle in it. So go ahead and crush that. Just show them how it's just dirt. It's really just a bunch of mud that the grub must form around it and form into the actual mature beetle. So we're gonna keep looking for our beetles. All right, well, looks like we struck gold here because this is the first time today we found this and there is a little mud shell with what looks like a beetle in there. We haven't pulled it out yet. We're going to do that now. Ben's going to go ahead and do that. It's moving. It's hitting the sun. Hurry. Let's get it out so we can show the, the kind of catatonic state and then show it fly away. So we're going to pull that out. Yeah, try to get under it so we don't break the shell. Whoops, sorry about my finger. Okay, here we are pulling out the little cocoon shell, mud shell with the beetle. So we can show you the catatonic state. Let me help you dig them out a little bit. Oh, get my finger in the way there. And I keep hitting the little volume button. Okay, let's see. There we go, go ahead and pull that out and show the camera. Nice. This is the first time for us even. So we kind of always assume that these little mud balls we find sometimes are the, be the shell, the cocoon, if, if that's what they're called for these Japanese beetles and there's one in there so we're gonna pull them out pull, break it up Ben and show them how he's in a kind of a catatonic state but I, I don't know he might have already got enough Sun on him to to move him around a little bit and if not we're gonna go hold him in our hand and set him in the Sun and within about 30 seconds just move a little and flies right away so let me, let me see. Do you want to hold him in your hand or you want me to? I'll hold him in my hand. Okay, go ahead and put him in the sun. Yeah, he's in his little catatonic state. Let's see. Let's show the camera real quick. Dad, he was nibbling his way out. There he is. Okay, so just hold him in the sun. We're going to wait about 30 seconds here or so. That's what we've seen this morning. So hopefully that same thing here. He's starting to move. Let us know if you film. Oh, there he goes right away. Whoop. See ya. I don't know. He's gone. Yep. Went that way. All right. So, hey, start to finish. That was awesome. What do you think, Sherman? Good. Yeah? You like that, Ben? Yep. <laughs> he was 